Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. I did not start my timer, which was a very smart thing of me to do. In the last episode, we took care of a bunch of side stuff, including getting the next two members of my team, which are, obviously, Bronzong and Haircross, who don't have names yet. I am listening to names for them. I'm thinking of names for them right now. But I figured I'd give you guys a couple of episodes to try to figure out names for these guys, and if I like your names better than my name, by all means, I'll, I'll put them on. Anyway, uh, in the last episode, we Eevee trained the fuck out of these guys and uh, just did some side stuff. In this episode, since I'm at the point where I was at in my old uh, LP, I didn't actually start my timer, that was smart. I'm actually going to show more battles now, like more of the random battles, so you guys can actually see the way the Kanto trainers are built. And obviously, I'm going to show more of the gym battles now, considering the fact that there's actually not a lot of gym battles. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get into a double battle for the first battle back. Against a pair of twins. Yes, I am going to beat you, Dan and Danny. And you get to hear new battle music as well. It's a remix of the old music from the old game, and I love it. And of course, these guys have to have Plusle Minu. Joy. In Pokemon Emerald, I went over just how much I hate fighting these things, because for some reason they have massively good stats for such a tiny Pokemon. Anyway, let's just rip them in half. I think close combat may be overkill, considering I like, EV trained the fuck out of his attack, but... Jesus Christ, I always forget that pl since Puzzle Minnow don't evolve, they're already at basically their max stats. So they have relatively good defense. Same thing with like Parcherisu. Surprisingly durable. The thing is, if I tried using them, then they'd be utter crap. Anyway, as you can see, this is... Whoa, critical hit. Well, then again, I did not EV train special defense for Heracross. And he's actually got a bad nature for special defense, so that's my fault. I really wanted to get him adamant nature because that increases attack, lowers special attack, and that's literally the perfect nature for Heracross. Anyway. Sorry. I had a little bit of a hiccupy burp there because I just finished a cup of coffee. So, if I seem a little bit more alive, that's probably why. Coffee is God! I know, I, I could try to send a little bit more, more, more creepy next time. <laughs> I'm also talking about a mile a minute. I should probably stop that. Yay, 13 grand. I should probably give one of these guys an amulet coin since these are the guys I'm trying to train. Anyway, yeah, I decided against keeping uh, Weezing on my team because Bronzong has the defense of Weezing with better typing. And is also good with special defense, so... Oh. Where'd my amulet coin go? There it is. And boom. And I decided on Heracross over... Um, over Scyther because Heracross is already close to his max stats because he doesn't evolve and I can't evolve Scyther on a DS emulator unless someone must send me a video tutorial on how to do it. Cheruboo! He was introduced in Gen 4 and evolves into Cherum. Eh, he's an okay grass type. What does Worry Seed do? Acquired Insomnia. Okay, that's fine. I think Worry Seed just makes you swap your ability for Insomnia, which you know, for Bronzong isn't that bad, considering Cherubi doesn't have any uh, ground-type moves, so that's fine. Oh, so it knows takedown. That's new. Do four damage, even though you're only one level lower. I love Bronzong. <laughs> My first time using him, and I already love him. Unfortunately, Bronzong does not have very good special attack. It's his, actual, his higher stat is actually physical attack, which is... eh. I would prefer his... If he's special attack, considering he learns one physical move besides tackle, and that's Gyro Ball, which I should probably be using, considering Bronzong's speed is like 30. Oh, will I get a level up? Awesome, level up. And oh, only three and three, really? After EV training, I only get three and three. Come on. Oh well. Oh, no, no. I want to show one more of these battles. As a matter of fact, I think there's only one more battle here. Yep. I'll show this one, and then I'll go to the gym. Walking along with your and sharing a blah, 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 blah. Anyway, off screen, I went and talked to Whitney. She is in the sixth floor of the Goldenrod department store every day in between noon and 3 p.m. And you call her every day between... Um, not every day. Uh, yeah, every day. In between three, uh, noon and 1 p.m. for a, a rematch. And I got her at 2.30, so I couldn't call to get her into fighting dojo, but that's life. And did I get anyone else's number? No, I think it's just hers. I wanted to get, um, Jasmine's, but I was like a half hour too late to get Jasmine's number. Boing. So yeah, only 34 speed. Unfortunately, Slackoth has almost no speed, so... 
Why that is not at least a Vigoroth, I don't know. I understand not making it a Slackoth for making it not quite a challenge, but anyway. Up there is still, um, Saffron City, and you can't go in the underground right now, not until you finish one of the side quests, and if you know what side quest that is, then awesome. I'm not gonna s sh tell you, though. No, well, it looks like, uh, yes, the capital's lost. They lost to the Bruins. That's awesome. That's exactly what the Devils need right now. Unfortunately, the Maple Leafs and the Red Wings play each other, so the Devils literally lose in either situation there, but the Bruins just clinched the Atlantic Division with that win, so congrats for them. Goddamn good teams. One thing you know, knowing about Bronzong, getting into random battles. Jesus Christ, this guy can't run from a level 30 tentacle. I had to wind up killing it because it used trap on me. Anyway, hello. You, you do remember this layout, don't you? This wonderful layout. You need to get rid of these things, which look really horrible on this emulator. Jesus Christ, I really wish Desmume would work for me. Anyway, uh, is this a double battle? Please let this be a double battle. Yes, it is. Awesome. I like to get into double battles simply because they take less time. And I'll show these, why not? Considering the fact that my last episode was literally entirely filler, I might as well show you guys some battles here. Plus, it's the, uh... Ooh, high levels. Plus, it's the next generation, the next area, and I didn't get to this area in my old playthrough, so... Anyway, might as well confuse the frick out of Jolteon, and then show Pikachu what it means to have low defense. Or, you know, Jolteon can use Helping Hand on Pikachu, and Pikachu will probably use Volt Tackle and kill Heracross. Although, not in time. I won't mind if Heracross gets paralyzed here. You're two, only two levels higher, you have crap defense, and Heracross's attack is ridiculous. I'd be very surprised if you survived that. The good thing about uh, fighting electric types is, very generally, they have low defense. One of the huge exceptions is Magneton, Magnezone, who have actually got really good defense, which is why I kind of want to use them, but... Fluffy, level 43, and... Why did Bronzong not go there? That was weird. Screw it, uh, I'll just keep using close combat. Oh, he did use it, I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> That was smart, I mean. I did not realize each of these guys had three Pokemon, otherwise I probably would not have shown this fight. But I'm already in it, so why not? And Jolteon goes down, and defense and special defense are even lower for Heracross now. I should probably stop using close combat. Please use, like, a Magneton or something. Level 45 for Heracross. Really? I just Eevee trained its speed and it's not going up very much? Oh, hello, Signal Beam. And you do only that. Not very effective. That was smart of you to use on a bug type that also is a fighting type. Sometimes the AI on this, these trainers is kind of stupid. Voltor! It will probably outspeed everything. So... Hmm. Voltorb honestly doesn't really scare me. So, you get a Brick Break. Oh wow, I outspeed him. Sweet. I am two levels higher, so... You will notice that these gyms are actually a bit tougher than they were in the original games, which is actually a good thing, because these gyms were pretty much a cakewalk. Pretty sure Lieutenant Surge's best Pokémon is like level 52, so I might actually be in a bad spot here. Sweet! Hurt yourself in the confusion, by all means. Anyway, I think the next gym I'm going to want to take out is Fuchsia, simply because she's got the lowest levels, and I've got a Steel-type. So, literally, the only thing she could do to me is try to explode me. Especially, even if she knows Earthquake, she really can't do anything, and none of her Pokémon, I think, have the ability to learn Flamethrower. I know the Koga rematch, one of his Pokémon probably knows Flamethrower, so... I know which Pokémon it is, and I'm not looking forward to fighting it. I hate fighting it all the time. <laughs> If you know anything about the rematches, you probably already know which one I hate fighting. Oh, Joy, you're being a bitch. I didn't even know Fluffy learned Double Team. Probably got it from the Celadon Game Corner. And it didn't matter since you're gonna faint anyway. I think I'm going to skip the next trainer battle, because this one's dragged on for quite a long time, and I do want to show Surge in this fight. And it might take me like 40 minutes to get to Surge. Electric! Electric, rather. Evolves into Minectric. Why it's not a Minectric already, I don't know. There we are. Apparently everything is slower than everything in this gym. It's ridiculous. Figure these electric types would all outspeed Heracross, even though he's got some speed EVs in him. There we go. Give me all that money. Oh, how shocking. 
Sorry I failed you! 18 grando! Muchos gracias! I will gracias you! Alright, I'm going to quickly heal up and then fight this trainer, so I'll see you guys in a second. Ah, three level 43 electrodes, bronze on grew to level 45 on that fight, which makes my entire team at least at level 45, which I think is good enough for the gym leader. But, uh, since I don't want to waste healing items, I'm going to heal at the Pokemon Center, and I'll see you guys in a quick second. Alright guys, we're back, we're all healed up, and I have Tauros at the start of my party. Anyway, what you have to do is you have to look into these things, these trash bins for switches. Nothing, 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 nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. Yes, this takes a long time. Nothing. Secret switch at the bottom of the trash can. Now, the next switch is going to be one right next to it. So this switch has three possible ones. This one, this one, and this one. And it's also possible that if there was nothing in the trash can, there could still be a switch there. So there it is. That was lucky. That was extremely lucky, actually. Anyway, here he is, Lieutenant Surge. You little tyke, man, I've started to challenge me to take his guts. Comes to electric type Pokemon and I've never lost in the battlefield. I'll zap you just like I did to all my enemies in battle. Which shows you that he was actually a lieutenant. And listen to the amazing gym leader music. Here he is, Lieutenant Surge. He has six Pokemon. Starts off with a level 51 Raichu. Yes, these guys are a bit tougher gonna go with Earthquake, and I actually outsped a Raichu. That is extremely rare. I did not anticipate that. I expected Braxis to take one hell of a beating before getting an Earthquake off. And, as we all know, the Pikachu line has bad defense, but it managed to soak up one. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Please don't tell me he's just gonna double team with everything. That's not something I want. And there's his full restore already, so that's good. At least he didn't use it on his main Pokemon, although Raichu was close to it. And in the anime, you'll know Raichu was definitely his main Pokemon, but... Anyway, I should probably also tell you now, in order to get Lieutenant Surge's number, you will need to have captured Zapdos. So, that means you will already have needed to get every single gym badge in Kanto, because they don't... The, uh, Kanto legendaries don't appear until you get all 16 badges, so that's fun. There he is, Raichu's defeated. Luckily, didn't get off another double team, so that's good. Next, he will be sending out Electabuzz, his main Pokemon. Oh, Jesus, uh, what do I want to do here? Do I want to whittle him down? No, I think I'll just keep out Braxis. His main Pokemon, Electabuzz, level 53, will probably outspeed him. No! Anyway, Electabuzz is very dangerous. He's got decent speed, very good attack and special attack, and he learns a variety of moves to complement that, including Thunder Punch, Shockwave, Thunderbolt. Pretty sure you can move to a room Fire Punch. Also learned uh, re Reflect and Light Screen, those types of moves. And he's using Light Screen, which is actually pretty dumb on his part considering I'm using physical attacks against them. Which is exactly where you should be aiming against this Pokemon, honestly. And that should take care of him. So yeah, as you can see, Lieutenant Surge is kind of a one-trick pony. If you outspeed him, he will apparently he'll lead off with some sort of status attack. Either double team or like re Light Screen, Reflect, that sort of stuff. His next Pokemon, Electrode. Well, let me throw out Heracross, just to get him some experience. Heracross, get out there, now! There he is. Electrode! He's got two of these, both level 47. Very fast, good luck ever outspeeding him, and they're gonna use Double Team, fantastic. I don't know why I used Takedown, I meant to use, uh, Close Combat. Oh wow, I actually hit. Let's see how much damage this does, and it's probably gonna static me. No, not, not enough. Alright, let's go with Brick Break. Charge Beam! That's a 10 power point, 50 power attack that always increases your own special attack. So, basically, if you use it in succession, it gets more and more powerful. Which means I really need this Brick Break to hit. Thank you, Shadow, that light screen for me. And his first Electrode is done. I don't even know all the movesets, since usually I take out his Pokemon way too quickly for it to matter. And he's sending out his second Electrode. Also level 47. Besides Charge Beam, I don't know what these guys have. Charge Beam and Double Team, that is. Yeah, he likes to use Double Team, because his Pokemon are fast and he thinks he can get away with it. I probably should have used Close Combat here, but let's see how this does. Fully attack EV trained? Nope, I would have to- thank you for paralyzing you, son of a bitch. 
I would have to use close combat. Okay, Shockwave is a uh, 60 power, 20 power point electric attack that never misses, hits through double teams, evasions, and all that fun stuff. You can still make it miss with uh, Fly and with Dig, though. I don't believe there's any attack that can hit Fly and Dig. And his second Electrode is done, and Heracross took a beating there, but he lived. Thank God for that. Timer's about to go off, better move that to the side. And finally, his last Pokemon is Magneton. Why that's not a Magnezone, I don't know. Although I know he has a Magnezone in his rematch. Magneton is going to be level 48? 47. Very high defense and special attack, pretty low speed, pretty low HP, and pretty low special defense, and you know what that means. He gets to burn! Good thing I got rid of that light screen, although it probably would have dissipated by this time. Anyway, that should take him out in one shot. There he goes. Awesome. And give me a level up, please. Thank you! For once, I'm underleveled for a gym leader. Ooh, rollout. Ooh, do I want that? Honestly, I don't see myself using Shadow Claw for a lot. And until I get a new special attack, I might as well. Yes, Shadow Claw is the better move, but I can actually hurt flying and fire types quite easily with rollout, so... I still need to get him a better special move. I haven't decided yet. I might give him Hyper Beam, honestly. Yes, I'm strong. I get the Thunder Badge. Or as he said in the end of it, the Thunder Badge. Enunciated. Uh, take good care of it. Something else. A TM34. I believe this is Shockwave. Either Shockwave or Charge Beam. Shockwave. Awesome. Never misses. He basically tells you to go to Saffron City, which is what I'm actually planning on doing now. And I'm going to keep that in the episode, honestly. I want to keep it in. Let's see who can learn this. I'm guessing Tauros can learn this. Yes, he can, and so can Raiju. But neither of them get it, because that's why. Anyway, let's get the hell out of here. I'll meet you guys at the Pokemon Center. Alright, now that we're done healing, let's go ahead and head to uh, Saffron City. Although we will not be staying there. And I will be skipping any battles on the way there because I'm kind of strapped for time and I just want to get to the next area. You can do some stuff in Saffron, but nothing I want to do. Anyway, we're going to head this way first simply to get this next area on the map. Welcome to Route 7. You can actually catch Houndour there, which are quite useful. And there's Celadon City. Just want to get that on the map. So that way I can fly to it later. I do wish the routes had different music, but... I mean, the remixed music is really incredible, and I love it, so that's awesome. I love Saffron's music. Kanto Johto Magnet Line, and then over here we have... The Twin Gyms. Right there is the Fighting Dojo. Where you can find the gym leader rematches. As you can tell, it looks a little run down. It's because the Fighting Master is in Tojo Falls now. And that's where you can get a time. I, I forgot the name of the Pokemon, honestly, but it, it's the one that evolves into Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, and Hitmontop. I don't even know what's in that house anymore, but it used to be a daycare. Welcome to Cerulean City. This is the next area we need to be. This is where the bike stop used to be. I love this music so much. You can't do anything in the gym yet. There's actually quite a few things you need to do before you can get that gym unlocked. But we're going to do that in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and as always, take care.